Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day so far. I'm Mina and welcome to my channel. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss when I upload. Um, this is part one of my series about my college stats, uh, so you don't want to miss out on the other videos. This video is by no means meant to brag or anything like that. Uh, this is 100% to help you guys going through the college process. In fact, I'm sure that a lot of you watching this video have just as good stats, if not better stats, than I do. Um, so I just wanted to say that I want this video to be helpful to you guys going through the college process. Or maybe if you're a little bit younger, you can see what opportunities are available. Um, so I just wanted to put in that disclaimer. Okay, so if you see me looking down here, I'm looking at my computer with all my notes on it. Um, but going into my background info, I am obviously an Asian female, and I'm a US citizen, and I live in Kentucky. And so some colleges take race into consideration, and some do not, so I thought I would just put that in there. Um, I come from a medium to high family income. Again, some colleges take your family income into consideration, some do not. Uh, going into my schooling, I spent two years at Ryle High School. Uh, it, Ryle's just a very traditional school. They offer some AP and dual enrollment classes, but nothing super out of the ordinary. Then my sophomore year, I applied to somewhere called the Gatton Academy of Mathematics and Science. If you don't know about it, Gatton is a STEM-focused residential high school for juniors and seniors who reside in Kentucky. So basically, your sophomore year, you apply, had to write essays and send in all of our information. Then they accepted a little bit less than 100 students from all across the state of Kentucky. And we live in dorms at Western Kentucky University and we take all of our classes at WKU. So we basically accelerated our life ahead by two years and uh, we take a full load of college courses. Um, I apply to all my colleges as a computer science major. Okay, so going into the fun part, we're gonna go into my scores. So first off, I never took the SAT, I only took the ACT. Um, my highest composite from a single test was a 35, but I got a super score of a 36. So the highest scores that I got and what I inputted into Common App were English 36, Math 36, Reading 35, Science 35, and then Writing 10. I actually took the writing test my freshman year um, because I wasn't sure if the colleges that I wanted to apply to uh, in the future would require it or not. And I don't think any of my colleges actually require them this year, whether that be to, due to the coronavirus or because they never required it before. Going into my SAT2 subject tests, I took the math level 2 and I got an 800 on that test. And then I took physics and I got a 720. Uh, funny story about my physics test, I actually had mono while I was taking it. Uh, this was like the soft summer before my sophomore year. And I guess that's not really funny, but I was pretty proud of the score that I got even though I wasn't feeling well when I was taking the test. And so I had plenty of time to retake the physics test because 720 isn't bad, but it isn't necessarily really good either. Um, so I made sure that I had plenty of time to retake the test. But because of the coronavirus, a lot of the colleges I applied to actually didn't require the SAT test anyway. Um, and so I thought that the 720 would be good enough to go through Common App and that I didn't need to retake it. Going into my AP subject tests, uh, I took AP Studio Art 2D Design and I got a 4. I took Calculus BC and that comes with an AP subscore and so I got a 5 on both of those. I took Chemistry and then I got a 4. Physics 1, I got a 4 and then AP Statistics, I got a five. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss the other videos I'm going to be posting in this series. I'm going to be talking about my GPA, the classes that I've taken, the different activities that I've done, my awards, and all of that. So you don't wanna miss out on those videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And as usual, I would love to hear about any thoughts you have in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.